Hi, I'm Prabhash and you are watching Engineers Fit. Today we'll discuss all those get questions from the portions calculation of missing rainfall data and calculation of mean precipitation. We'll solve the one mark questions at first, then we'll move to two mark questions. We'll discuss all those get questions. So let's begin with our one mark questions first. The first question you can see in the slide and please try yourself. Then I will tell you the answer. So let's begin. So in the previous video I have told you what is an isoid. Isoid is a line joining equal rainfall values or isoid is a line joining equal rainfall depth. Let's write that. Isoid it is a line joining equal rainfall depth so the option is c so next solve the get question asked in get 19 so this was the question asked in get 19 in the previous class i have told you in arithmetic mean method P A equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus so on divided by number of precipitation values. P average he has uh, denoted as P A. So let me write P A. So in Thyssen polygon method P average he has given P T. P T equal to I have told you that P1 A1 plus P2 A2 plus P3 A3 plus so on divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus so on i have told you that in uh, thyssen polygon method if this is a catchment each rain gauge stations has associated with some area value each rain gauge uh, station should be associated with some area value so i can tell that the in thyssen polygon method the average precipitation depth value is more uniformly distributed than the arithmetic mean method but there is no definite relationship between pa and pt so the answer is d if he would have given some data uh, some precipitation value and area value we could have calculated or and uh, we could have generate a relationship between the first two options so the first two options are definitely wrong but there is a chance that the option C could have been correct uh, in option C he has mentioned that PA is always equal to PT PA is not always equal to PT PA can be equal to PT there is a criteria let me tell you in Thyssen polygon method P1 A1 plus P2 A2 plus P3 A3 divided by this whole value this A1 value divided by the whole A1 plus A2 plus A3 value is called as w1 and what is w1 w1 is called thyssen weight similarly this a2 value divided by whole a1 plus a2 plus a3 value is called w2 so i can write that pt equal to p1 w1 plus p2 w2 plus so on what is w w is called thyssen weight if thyssen weights are same then pa can be equal to pt if thyssen weights are same pa can be equal to pt but pa is not always equal to pt there is another no note point that could be come in the examination also let me write that sum of the thyssen weights equal to 1 that is w1 plus w2 plus w3 up to so on equal to 1 the sum of the thyssen weights equal to 1 the answer is d let's move to two mark section and solve the gate 15 question So let's discuss this question asked in gate 15. In a catchment there are four rain gauge stations P, Q, R and S. Normal annual precipitation values are these stations means normal annual precipitation values are given that is 780, 850, 920 and 980 mm. 
नेक्स्ट इन अ इयर 2013 स्टेशंस क्यू आर एंड एस वर ऑपरेटिव मींस अ 2013 क्यू आर एस वाज ऑपरेटिव बट स्टेशन पी वाज नॉट मींस स्टेशन पी वाज नॉट वर्किंग एंड क्यू आर एंड एस वर वर्किंग नेक्स्ट यूजिंग द नॉर्मल रेशियो मेथड द प्रेसिपिटेशन एट स्टेशन पी फॉर द ईयर 2013 हैज बीन एस्टीमेटेड एज 860 mm मींस what he has done using normal ratio method he has found out the precipitation value at station p that is 860 means this 860 is px value means the station p was not working using the normal ratio method what he has done he has uh, calculated the px value then uh, precipitation at station q and rr that is 930 and 1010 what was the observed precipitation at station is means he is asked us to find the precipitation value uh, at station s that is ps so simply what he has done using normal ratio method he has found out the missing rainfall data as uh, 860 and he is asked us to find out the ps value simply in the previous class i have told you that px by nx equal to 1 by n whole into p1 by n1 plus p2 by n2 plus p3 by n3 we have four rain gauge stations out of four rain gauge stations one was not working so what he has done he has simply calculated that value by normal ratio method and he has asked us to find the precipitation value at station s so simply i can write that px is given as 860 nx is given as 780 equal to 1 by n 1 by n what is n i have told you n is whose both n and p value are known that means here you can see both n and p values are known both n and p values are known both n and p values are known but here only n value not p value uh, is given that means p value we have to find so n is 3 n is whose both n and p values are known so 1 by 3 p1 what is p1 p1 is 930 divided by what is n1 n1 is 850 plus p2 what is p2 p2 is 1010 divided by what is n2 n2 is 920 what is p3 p3 he has asked us to find that is p s divided by n3 what is n3 n3 is 980 if you simply try to find the answer you will find ps as 1093.44 mm simply you can find out from a calculator so this is how to solve the question So this question is asked in GATE 2017 and the question says that a catchment is idealized as 25 km by 25 km square. That means he has stated that the catchment is a square and the area is 25 km by 25 km. Next, it has 5 rain gauges. He has given 5 rain gauges and the precipitation at these rain gauges he has given that is P1 is 300 p2 is 285 p3 is 272 p4 is 290 and p5 is 288 he has asked to solve this question by Thyssen polygon method. In the previous class, I have told you that to solve a question by Thyssen polygon method, we have to assign each rain gauge stations to some area value. Means, I have told you that each rain gauge station is assigned to some area value. To provide that area value to corresponding rain gauge stations, there are some steps. So, we have to follow these steps 
to convert this whole catchment into some areas so the first step is is divide the area into convenient number of triangles means we have to convert this area into some triangles to convert this area into triangles we have to join any two stations we have to join any two stations and the third point says that it should not cross any other line means we join two stations and our line is not crossing any other line next draw perpendicular bisectors and extend means we have to perpendicular bisect these lines and we have to extend but the condition is that extend line should not pass through any station we have to perpendicular uh, bisect these lines such that uh, the extended value should not cross any other station suppose this is the line if i want to perpendicular bisect it means this line uh, is passing through this station means this is invalid similarly suppose this line i want to perpendicular bisect this line and extend this line will pass through this station similarly this line and similarly this line so this condition is not valid again we have to follow and this uh, step number four and we have to perpendicular bisect a line and extend so we select these lines so we have to per, uh, perpendicular bisect these lines and extend so let's perpendicular bisect these line and extend if we perpendicular bisect these line and extend this will be like this if we perpendicular bisect these line and extend and join this will be like this next similarly this line if we perpendicular bisect and join this will be this and similarly this line perpendicular bisect and this like this so we have assigned some areas corresponding to each rain gauge stations so this is the area corresponding to each rain gauge stations means suppose this area is a1 this a1 area is assigned to this rain gauge station g1 this area a2 is assigned to this rain gauge station this area a3 is assigned to this rain gauge station this area a4 is assigned to this rain gauge station and this area is assigned to this whole rain gauge station so from aptitude we know that a1 equal to a2 equal to a3 equal to a4 for a square it is uh, equal to 1 by 8th of total area means 25 by 25 equal to that is 78.125 and similarly aptitude we know that from the properties of a square a5 is one half of the total area means 1 by 2 of 25 into 25 that is equal to 312.5 kilometer square so for your better understanding i have redrawn the figure and i have told you that i have assigned the area value corresponding to each rain gauge stations i have assigned the area value corresponding to each rain gauge stations we have formed the rain gauge stations and we have assigned the areas and we have found out the areas simply now we can calculate the p average by putting the formula that is p1 a1 plus p2 a2 plus p3 a3 plus p4 a4 plus p5 a5 though there are five rain gauge stations divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 so p1 value is 300 a1 value is found out 78.125 plus p2 value is 285 into a2 value is 78.125 p3 
पी थ्री वैल्यू इज टू सेवेंटी टू इंटू सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन टू फाइव फी फोर वैल्यू इज टू नाइन्टी इंटू सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन टू फाइव एंड वी हैव फाउंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ पी फाइव corresponding to station uh, G5 so the precipitation value uh, at station 5 is 288 and the area was 312.5 divided by simply A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 Sim uh, I can write that 4 into 78.125 because uh, four area values are same plus 312.5 so if you just solve this whole thing you will get the answer as 287.375 287.375 mm so this was also a filling the blank type question simply so easy so at first you have to form the area corresponding to each rain gauge station just put the formula solve the next question that is so easy just put the formula get the answer so solve the question so i hope you have solved this question the question is so easy nothing to do just put the formula of p average and just to find out the answer we know p average is p1 a1 plus p2 a2 plus p3 a3 plus p4 a4 plus p5 a5 plus p6 a6 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 those six values are given so the formula will be this simply p1 is given as 470 and the a1 is given in uh, 10 to the power 4 meter square i don't have to uh, take 10 to the power 4 meter square and multiply with each term because i simply take the common and that will be cancelled so simply a1 i have to write 95 plus p2 is 465 into 100 plus 435 into 98 plus 525 into 80 plus 480 into 85 plus 510 into 92 what i have to do just simply take common as 10 to the power 4 divided by area is 95 plus 100 plus 98 plus 80 plus 85 plus 92 into 10 to the power 4 so that thing i have told that 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power 4 will be cancelled and if you solve we will get the answer as 479.09 mm so this question was so easy i hope you have solved this question so this finishes our uh, video so i hope you have solved the question by pausing the video at first so if this video is helpful to you please subscribe this channel and we will meet in the next video and we will read the probability in hydrology so thank you and take care